At an event like the BAFTAs, the die-hard fans will have been queuing up since the wee hours of the morning to get to the front. Anybody who is anybody from the movie world will be here. So for fans, this is one of the highlights of the autograph season. This is the BAFTAs. Um, tell me, what does it take to be a successful autograph hunter? It needs a lot of planning, passion for it and patience as well. Those are three of the basic skills you need. Mark has been collecting autographs since he was five years old. And when he's not hard at work as a food retail manager, he's always to be found hunting down the A-listers to add to his massive collection. We joined him as he started on the trail of Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe, who was in London to rehearse Equus. Undeterred, Mark gets straight on the phone to Daniel Radcliffe's agent. He left his office. Good morning, it's possible I could speak to Gail, please. Oh, hi. How are you? Um, if I can introduce myself, I am Mark Boardman. I'm an autograph collector and I would love to meet Daniel Radcliffe. He's on my top ten to meet this year. Okay, well, you need to contact his publicist then. Okay. Mark gets short shrift. He needs to think of a plan B. As he's having no luck with Daniel Radcliffe, he decides to try the Ivy in the hope of catching the stars pitching out after lunch. Oh, wow. This. Suddenly, Mark's luck is in. Just leaving after Shepherd's Pie and Mash, a former Bond, Piers Brosnan, and RSC stalwart and former Enterprise captain, Patrick Stewart. As Pierce Brosnan and Patrick Stewart do a Thomas Crown disappearing act, Butty hasn't given up. There's a small pack of photographers outside a bookshop on Charing Cross Road. Is it possible that his target has slipped in to buy a spy thriller? Are you waiting for Pierce Brosnan? Uh, yeah, yeah? Yeah. yeah uh, I, I saw him about three minutes ago. He's not talking. He's got his publicist with him. Um, he just left with Patrick Stewart. As more photographers gather, Mark decides to enlist the help of a passerby to see if Piers Brosnan is still in the bookshop. I've actually just taken a couple of pictures. Piers Brosnan. Oh. What are you all running after? What? The superstar, if you think it's the biggest style of planet. Oh, yeah, would you be able to walk in there and just have a quick look? It would really help me out. Okay. Just have a quick look around. You know, he's wearing a big brown uh, black coat. Thank you. But the actor is nowhere to be seen and Mark has lost a valuable opportunity. Like Mark Boardman, Alan Robinson has also been amassing a huge collection of autographs. In his case, both tracking the stars himself and buying at auctions and fairs. And now he's finally cashing in and his amazing collection of over 10,000 autographs is going up for sale tomorrow under the hammer of Richard Davis. I suppose the prized ones as, as far as, as collectability goes and desirability goes, would, would have to be sort of the top three, which would be Marilyn Monroe, James Dean and Greta Garbo, who was the only one that I never expected to include in the collection on a signed photo. Now, it's been reported that the collection in its entirety could be worth over a million pounds. What do you think of that? It's certainly possible, and it's a, it'd be a nice thought. As well as the big hitters like Greta Garbo, those who can be snapped up for a snip include Halle Berry, Gwyneth Paltrow and Kevin Spacey. All available at the sale for £20 to £30. Back in the West End, Mark gets a cheeky break. Not quite his A-lister target, but better than an empty autograph book. Are oh, you girls coming along to be at the premiere tonight? Are you coming along? Uh, no, I have to go somewhere else tonight. I already booked something else. Oh, shame. you got Hugh Grant down there tonight. Andrew Barrymore as well. For Mark, the thrill is clearly in the chase, but for some people, buying and selling autographs is a big business. And it can be quite risky if you don't know what you're buying because there are thousands of fakes out there. We've got two here, for instance. Mm -hmm. David Bowie. It's absolutely nothing like his signature. It bears no resemblance to his genuine uh, signature whatsoever. This one, Greta Garbo. Hmm. Now, I've already seen a Greta Garbo hmm. autograph today. I heard they were quite rare. They are extremely rare. Uh, something like that, if genuine, would be £5,000 upwards at least. It's just certainly fake. It's signed in felt tip pen. Tonight, 
After a whole day tromping the streets, Mark is still determined to bag an A-lister. So he's headed to the premiere of Music and Lyrics. Drew! Come on, Drew! Come on, Drew! I'm here! I never asked people for their autograph, actually. I, I, I was so young when it, when it started for me. I always felt sort of weird asking for people, but I'm happy when they ask me for mine, and I'm always happy to oblige. Drew, please. Drew, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Drew, please. Thank you. Drew, please. Who's your dress for? Drew, please. It's by my dear friend John Galliano. Oh, it's, it's a one of a kind, too. It's like a piece of art. Oh, it's and despite waving his piece of paper with gusto, Mark just can't get Drew's attention. His last chance rests with Hugh Grant. I really want him to come over. Come on, Drew. Come on. Over here. Long last, mission accomplished.